Hello, I'm Chris Athanas. I'm a KMP developer, and today we're going to be talking about uh, how to use GitHub Codepilot in Apple Xcode. So when I first started getting into the cross-platform development, I mean, I was just really like, how am I going to do this iOS? It's like a whole new platform. And that was a right around the same, same time the Codepilot had came out, and I was like, okay, well, maybe that Xcode will in integrate it. And um, it hasn't yet, and you know, but the, but there is a way to do it. Let me get over here. Okay, there is a way. There is a way to do it. Um, now, one of the things that's annoying about uh, about X, doing Xcode inside of um, hold on, uh, trying to do iOS development. Let me fix my camera. Hold on. All right, that's a little better. Um, yeah. So inside of uh, inside of Android Studio. Um, there's no <laughs> formatting or any sort of uh, color coding or anything like that. And as far as I know, there is no, um, let me get over to Xcode here. Um, there is no, oh, I thought I compiled this. Hold on a second. Okay, this is one thing that comes up and it's super annoying. I'm not sure why this occurs, but um, you have to go back here. Uh, you know, have an error here, Google Maps. Signing for Google Maps requires the blah, 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 blah. So you have to go back in here to set that up. I don't know why. Anyway, so, um, and it keeps getting unset. I don't know why. <laughs> um, all right, so here we are uh, in Xcode. And as far as I know, there's no plugins available uh, for this. I'm not an expert at Xcode. I looked around. I couldn't find anything that allowed me to do that. But because of the way that, you know, these files are saved as you go back and forth, um, you can go in here and um, basically make a comment. Like, so for here, this is this, I didn't know how to, to, to get the status bar color. All I did was I got a comment and Xcode filled it in for me. And I went and experimented around and found out I didn't need all that stuff. All I needed was this. But I didn't know that until uh, uh, GitHub, GitHub Copilot showed me that. So then, you know, you just, change the date like if i want to go back and do that full implementation suggestion go back here and for some reason the for this thing has doesn't have any formatting so it doesn't it has no doesn't know about swift at all i'm not really sure why there's no plugins either which is kind of disappointing that there's that there's actually no plugins for swift uh, uh, uh at all <laughs> like there's like these ones that do json to swift like but that's those are the only two so this is probably a thing that's going to be uh, addressed at some point, but right now, if you want to get dive into it, you could do that. Um, here's the content view. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, right here. So you can change it there, and it just, uh, as you can see, it updated here, and you can go back and forth like that. Uh, another one, just to show another example here. So I'm gonna undo that, and go back to how I had it before. Uh, another one here is this. Like, how do I do? How do I set the? I didn't know how to make it uh, default to dark dark mode, so I just say prefer dark mode and then it gives me the thing right there so that's uh that's how you use uh that is how you use uh, github's copilot inside of uh xcode that's really it that's that's all i want to say about that so it's a quick one um but again for the uh android people coming over to uh I ios development and for the edge corner cases like that you need to know how to uh, how to do it um that is how it's done. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Give me a like and subscribe. Talk to you soon.